now they have my husband has gotten into this now where certain perfumes and certain fragrances have numbers or they have certain names. And the ones that are the most pure and the most potent cost the most amount of money. All right. Amen. Those sometimes you won't find in the store. You have to physically go out and order wow. those. Amen. Now, we live in a time where having a good name is not valued as much as it is. Come on now. I can always remember my parents would always tell me, if you say you're going to do something, do it. Okay. If you have a good name, your name follows you for the rest of your life. In biblical times, your name was chosen specifically for a reason and for a purpose. Come on. If you think back in biblical times and all of the names that there were, they didn't give these people the names because I feel like calling him Saul and Paul or Paul and Saul. The thing of it is, back then, things were a lot more simpler. Now, I mean, they couldn't just put something in the microwave. They couldn't just run to the Walmart or something like that. Things were, more, were simpler. It was a simple time. So when they gave these names, they had meaning. And sometimes I often wonder, when we give our children names, do we think about what their names mean? Yes, do we know what their names mean? Are we just giving this child a name just because it sounds good? Are we giving this child a name because it sounds different? Believe it or not, that child's name follows them throughout the rest of their lives. And unfortunately, we live in a society and I've been on the hiring end. In a society in which we look at applications, we judge the applications not by the merit of its content. Mm -hmm. We judge the applications because of what somebody's saying is. Right. I'm not saying it's right because I don't do that and I don't believe in that. However, everybody in the world undoubtedly, as you see, is not saved. So as Christians, we need to make sure that even when we're giving a name, to make sure we know and investigate what the meaning of that name is. All right. All right. Now, I don't know if you ask yourself this, but I ask myself this. Now, let me just go back and say, excuse me, the things that I'm talking about, I'm not reflecting them on you or saying that you're doing it, because some of these things hit home to me, and in my... Studying, I'm like, well, God, why do you want me to say this? Because this is something that, that I was doing or something that I've dealt with. And how do I look come to tell somebody else what they should or should not do? All right. But God said it's because of my grace. I give you grace right. to be able to speak those things. Because the things in the past were that of the past, not the present. So I ask myself, well, what can I do to maintain a good name? You want to represent Christ with integrity and compassion. Amen. You do not have to be perfect in Christ. Come on. If we were all perfect, there would be nobody in this church now. Right. There would be no reason to celebrate Easter. There would be no reason for God if we were perfect. We are all imperfect creatures. Yes. Amen. Now, I know it's not anybody in this church because you know, we don't do this, but some of us feel like we're perfect. You are close to it. When so somebody speaks to you or says something to you, I've even seen this and I've done it before. Oh, no, I don't do that. And you know, we've been good and proper. Oh, no, that, that's not me. <laughs> but you got to think about it. The first one that makes the most noise is the one that it gets the most. Hmm. So in the body of the church, first thing we need to do is let's start being honest. First with ourselves, Come on now. and then being honest with everyone else. Right. Right. One thing about lying, whether it's lying about yourself, whether it's lying about another individual. When you lie, Jesus, you got to remember that lie. That's right. And when you remember that lie, you got to remember another lie. And then another lie and another lie. And let me tell you, I can admit, because in my younger days, let me say, I'm saved and delivered from that. I used to lie so much that I used to believe my own lies. <laughs> now, you know this, baby. I had to come back and think, well, no. Did this really happen? Because I can be tell you, I was a professional liar. I'm talking about a professional liar. My mother asked me, I had an E and PE. How do you get an E and PE? This is back in the day. She said, Candace, you get an E and PE. I was like, uh huh. You know, back then, they had the little report cards, excuse me, they were cards. Mm -hmm. And when you write on it, it goes to the, the 
know, if you do something, it may not come out today, it may not come out tomorrow, but it's going to come out. Right? Don't think that you can hide and slip and dip and tip and it's not going to come out. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it will come out. So I go and I say, ooh, I got to eat. And I got to eat because I've always been a little bit OCD and anti, you know, anti make kill everything. I had one at the day middle school, we had these jumpsuits, and I don't know what the they for it. I'm not saying my little suit, my ain't funny. If y'all remember, we didn't have the little jump, the little shorts in the top. We had the one of these jumpsuits. And the top of it was red and white, and the bottom was red. And I went to the day, which is Jeremiah Jensen. So some of the girls were not, per se, clean. So I left my uniform a couple of days. That was that part wasn't my fault. But if you didn't bring it, you had to go dig in that box and find a uniform on your side. Mm -hmm. And the coach told me, and I, I didn't bring it, that was my fault. The coach told me, you're not strong. But I said, I'm not going to put that next to my mind. So I deserve that. <laughs> Nevertheless, I go home. Before my mother gets home, I trace the beat. The E to make the beat. <laughs> Did you do it because you have love 
I'm sorry. <coughs> if I said on anybody's toes, but I'm going to have to be obedient. I'm going to take off my glasses so I can see all day. <laughs> Missionary 
to be quick to hear. James 20, 19. <laughs> now, I don't know if you all remember, I'm 46, so I remember way back when they came out with three way. <laughs> so, I was on the phone, and even he had already come out, and I was at this church. He was in this church. I was in this church. And I'm going to let the pastor remain nameless because I don't believe in that. It's my name. It needs a name call. <laughs> so, I had just got off the phone with this pastor. You did so well in church. You prayed the worship. was wonderful. You were awesome. You did it. Boom, boom, boom. I guess he thought he hung up. He gets on the, on the telephone. <laughs> and he calls my cousin. I don't know if he knew he was my cousin or not. Candace did. She made this and that, this and that. Boom. And I'm just like, wow. How many faces do you have? Oh my God. You just gave me, which I didn't need. Keep in mind, don't do things in the body for kudos or accolades. Because if you do what you're doing for the wrong reason. Oh I'm going to tell you now, in the body, you have to work. Everybody's not going to give you a pat on the back. Everybody's not going to say good job. Everybody's not going to honor you. Everybody's not going to set you on the test. Trust me, being set on a pedestal causes you to fall. So anyway, he's just talking about me, talking about me, talking about me. So I interrupted and said, hey, did you mean to hang me up or you meant to come from the end? And he was like, real quiet. So all I heard was, boom, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> so we got to watch the things that we do. If we are not doing the wrong thing, we don't have to consistently try to cover our tracks. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I have been guilty of saying, you go my husband. I've been guilty of saying, did you see what Miss Marshall had on? I can't even get out the door. And then I'm talking to him, whispering, that Miss Marshall right there. Didn't see him. <laughs> Didn't he see him? Didn't he see him? Oh, hey. Yeah. 
the response is you wait for that little line. Forgiveness. You ask him for his forgiveness so that you can 